welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2022 here in Bucharest in Romania where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by His Excellency Torilupe Pumulinuku Onisemo who is the Minister of Communications and Information Technology for Samoa. Minister, welcome back to the studio. Thank you. I say welcome back because the last time we were together was in, uh, in Kigali in Rwanda which seems just a, a, a few minutes ago. Yes, feels like it feels like um, three months is just like two weeks these days. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Time, time flies, absolutely. So let me start by asking you a little bit uh, about the challenges uh, that uh, you're facing currently uh, in terms of ICT services and deliveries. Perhaps you could uh, give us a little bit of, uh, of an update on that. Thank you, uh, Max, for taking part on, in, in the ITU PP 2022. It's uh, only an opportunity for us, for our islands, and also as a, as a member state of uh, SITS, uh, we've, we feel fortunate to be here. Uh, because from the Pacific Islands, if you look at them, uh, only, only a few islands uh, made it to, to the Plenty Pot uh, 2022. So in saying that, it, it is a challenge, not only to uh, represent your states, but also to represent your, your, um, your region. Uh, so, it, it's a lesson for us to that first and foremost that we got to we got to reunite. We got to reunite as a as a as a region, uh, not only as a region but also leaders of the region, so that your voice can be heard at these um, world uh, and global uh, uh, gatherings, uh, especially when you talk about uh, uh, developments and most of these developments. If you look at the at the um, uh, priorities of ITU, uh, the unconnected, the 2.7 billion people are unconnected. Some of those are, are islands of the Pacific, remote islands of the Pacific, in which they have the challenge of uh, connectivity, uh, uh, the capacity building, uh, you know, bridging the, the digital, digital divide. Most of those is our, um, our youths uh, not having access to the to internet. Most of those schools, some of the schools in there are um, schools from our, uh, our islands because of uh, the cost of equipment, the cost of devices, all those challenges. It's very much alive in, uh, in the Pacific. So I guess it's important that we, we the vulnerable uh, communities, are, uh, uh, you know, are here to voice our, our concerns, but also to be part of, the, of this um, you know, planning the future in terms of ITU activities and initiatives. So I guess we will, uh, we feel privileged uh, and also it's an opportunity for us. Uh, so very, very happy, very, very happy of the outcome uh, from this week's um, this, um, well, conferences. You mentioned cooperation. I mean, how hard is it uh, to, like you say, I mean, geographically distant uh, uh, islands, did, 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 uh, Particularly, I would say that that would be quite complicated, uh, where the, the, the goodwill may be there. Um, but uh, but how do you make that work? Um, you know, at every region, they have, for example, they have, there's a an African Union that's you know in, in terms of Africa, in terms of European and so forth. I guess in the Pacific, uh, I think the missing link is uh, uh, like leaders of the Pacific, of a farm at which they. Uh, uh, collaborate and uh, uh, develop their agenda and raise it to the, to the uh, you know through the, uh, the the usual channels of ITU and, and the global arenas. So I guess it's important that as a, as, as a leaders of the Pacific to have a uh, a specific uh, ministerial forum, at which uh, uh, all leaders of the of um, uh, the Pacific in the in the field of uh, ICT uh, to come together and, and you know make decisions from our region and raise our um, our, um, our concerns at the at the global level so i guess that's priority at this and, and, and share lessons learned i guess and 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 uh, share best practices and uh, yeah. and also try to uh, ensure uh, that uh, connectivity obviously is, is at the forefront of people's minds. I wanted to ask you, with regards to your attendance here, obviously you've taken the time to be here, you've come all the way uh, from Samoa, what lessons do you think you'll be taking back with you uh, in terms of uh, uh, ITU support for Samoa and, and for uh, small island developing states here from PP22? Uh, I think 
Thank you for, for the, uh, that, that question. I guess it's, it's very important, as you raised, you know, what are the listeners that, what, what are the takeaways uh, from us as a small island state? Uh, you know, from uh, today's election, uh, we, we're grateful that, you know, uh, one of the sits, only one sits nation been elected to the, the council, that's Mauritius. Uh, but we need more of that because we, we feel that small island states, um, uh, you know, we, we've uh, vast, you know, challenges. Uh, other small island states have very small populations. Other small island states got, you know, um, uh, better, um, uh, you know, economies and GDPs in terms of GDPs. So we got various um, uh, challenges with everyone, but I think that's a lesson that at least we, our voice will be it's heard. It's been, you know, we need to raise it to, uh, at this kind of, of conferences. Uh, secondly, um, from a lesson delay, like I, like I mentioned earlier, that we, the Pacific, our own region, our leaders of our own region, need to come together and work together. Because our concerns, it's uh, our challenge is almost uh, similar to everyone uh, uh, within our region specifically. So we need to come together uh, because from the Pacific, well, 13 states of the Pacific, only three leaders made it all the way here, and only about five or six states out of the 13. Yeah, so less than half uh, were were available. So uh, I guess. Why, it's, why do you think that was? Well, I guess you know. It, um, differences in priorities, you know, uh, very much we, we got conflicting priorities. In, in small island states, you got health and education as your foremost. But from COVID and pandemic, uh, the world has um, uh, realized that communication, it's, it's a key moving forward, especially with, uh, you know, climate change, disaster risk and so forth and pandemics. You know, we now, uh, uh, we need communication and technology to not only uh, to open markets, but also, you know, um, uh, for, uh, you know, business um, uh, opportunities. So it's uh, different priorities, but also vulnerable economies, you know, the, of the islands, you know, their priority in terms of, uh, you know, various re limited resources. I guess you know they got better priorities than coming all the way here to uh, to uh, PP uh, 2022. Mm. And can one turn that around? Do you think in terms of uh, in terms of opportunities for investment, for example? Um, see, it's challenging. Uh, best example is like I mentioned earlier, those small states. If you if you if you look into private sector to provide the services for small island states, small. Um, um, you know, remote areas with very minimal populations. You know, in the numbers, the service providers won't, won't even invest in those because of very few uh, populations. And that leaves uh, like small island state government to uh, sustain it, to make sure that there's a sustainable connectivity. So I guess if, when you talk about, uh, uh, you know, investment and so forth, we you know we've Islands like Samoa are very small in numbers. You know, it would be hard to get some qualified or some, you know, investors into coming in and invest. That's most of the time, it's always important that your government is well prepared to take all the responsibility. Service provider will come later and, and also investment will come later, but you gotta be firm on, on, on uh, uh, make sure that your government can sustain, uh, especially connectivity but also taking forward and make sure you have the, the best technology available. Because, you know, as you mentioned, uh, you know, investors depends on the numbers uh, and the revenue and the returns uh, on those investments. And what about training young people for this uh, technological world? What about uh, the, the, the possibilities for training and development there? Well, I think we're... we're um, where that uh, we're, we're doing our very best, like I, like I mentioned earlier, the, 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 for islands, the top priority is education and school. So, uh, according to uh, to your question regarding the in the young minds uh, trying to develop, education is important, and that's why at this stage we're still working on education. We got we're fortunate to get a lot of uh, scholarships offers from Australia, New Zealand. 
even Japan, China, in, in the United States, Commonwealth scholarships sometimes. But we need more of that because that will take back the capacity building yeah, to our people, uh, to our rural areas. Um, you know, Samoa is a, is a state at which 80% of its land, it's a customary land, and more than 80%, 85%. So most is in the rural. So most of the population you know, is scattered everywhere in those rural. And it's hard to get um, uh, their awareness up to, you know, where we need to be fully digitally transformed. So as you mentioned, the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the young minds, but it starts from the schools, start from education, start from accessing, having access at a young age, you know, to, to uh, these uh, gadgets, uh, you know, and, and be fully, you know, yeah, to be able to have access. You know, it, it's a challenge. Okay. And, and finally, what are your thoughts on how to improve th this plenipotentiary conference uh, in terms of uh, its uh, ways of operating, in terms of its uh, processes, etc.? Uh, I'd be interested to know your, your feelings about mm -hmm. that and, and if you've got any other final comments. Well, uh, thank you very much, Max. Um, you know, uh, this is my first one. Uh, I hope not the last one. Uh, but. You know, as a politician, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. But in that, in saying that, uh, lessons from, you know, like I said earlier, and it, uh, I think we need to emphasize that the, the representation of, um, of uh, vulnerable small island states, uh, developing states, uh, because those, all, the, all the targets that's in there, like the unconnected, the corporation capacity building, all that, it all refers to the, the vulnerable states, the developing states. So their voice and their uh, representation in these farm has to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, closely considered. Um, one of the lessons that we have learned, like I said, uh, we need to be together as a, uh, as a as a region. For us to be considered and, uh, you know, have a saying in, in these, we need to come together. Uh, so that's another big lesson for us. One of, uh, we have a couple of uh, ministers here with us. We all agree um, that that is a, a, a key point for us, taking back to the islands. Uh, and one of the, uh, the other main reason here is um, we were mostly dependable, depending on our uh, surrounding states in the, in the Pacific. But I've just learned that, you know, their, their voice in the, is a, in, a, in, a, in a ITU council uh, it's for their concerns and, and, and their, their issues. So I guess, you know, we're hoping that in the future we'll, there will be a uh, representation of uh, the islands in an uh, ITU council in the future. So that's another, it's a, it's a, it's a big lesson, but it's a, it's a good take uh, for us to learn from uh, going forward in the future. Thank you. Minister for Communication Information Technology for Samoa. Thank you very much for joining us in the studio and very much hope this won't be the last time we see you. Uh, I'm sure it won't be. And uh, look forward to catching up with you again in the very near future. Thank you very much, Max. Thank you.